Okay, so. Don't read it yet. Don't read it yet. Oh. Don't read it. Okay. Eyes up here. All right. right. <laughs> okay. Can we just... Okay. No, I mean, they're like... <laughs> we still don't I'm it. wondering if there's not... Is there, is, is it, do we need preliminaries or... But no. No. Okay. We, just, we just do a little intro to this. Okay. Do you know how the, the sort of midweek or the sort of off-week episodes are supposed to be sort of ni- nice and light? And- yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. No, I just thought I'd explain it to the, the listeners again because okay. they're already listening. So, it's already started. Uh, in they? that case... Hello and welcome <laughs> to Tales of the, the Uncharted, Uncharted Territories. Territories. I'm Kaki. I'm Kay. And this week we're reading something fun. Yes, I, I just sent you the link, Kay, and I told you not to look at it. Well, it's hard to read it and not look at it. I know, I know, I know. You can look at it now. Okay. Um, because I delved into the depths of fanfiction.net and I, and, I, and I started looking for... I mean, I've done that before. Um, but I haven't updated it in, in a while, and mm-hmm. we're now up to, like, episode 310. So that yeah. was around July, yeah, July 2001. Yeah. So I started looking, like, what had been posted in that region, and is there anything maybe related to what we'd recently seen? And mm-hmm. instead, I found this called Choices by Aaron Sunnyshine, which is a Farscape choose-your-own-adventure story where you become Aaron Sun and get to decide how she de- spends her day. Okay. I was wondering about that because, uh, like, I noticed that it was really short, and that's about the only thing that I saw before I got my eyes torn away from my screen by you. Yes, exactly. So the the way I think it works is, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's got sixteen chapters. You know, it's got a chapter selector. Yeah. Where it says default chapter. Yes, I saw uh, that. And it starts with the default chapter, and then chapter the number two, and then chapter the word three, and then the rest is numbered through uh, through sixteen. Okay, like consistency is best. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, with a little contrast. And we're also joined, Her Majesty, your, your pod cat, who's yes. uh, very insistent on fusses. She's, uh, she's remarkably quiet. I don't think she's experiencing the fourth sensation just Not yet. yet. No, it's a little bit early for that. It's but, like, it's, uh, she'll, she'll get fed in about an hour. And that's when we can expect her evening concerto. Well, that's going to start in about like half an hour, I reckon. That's usually usually about quarter, quarter past uh, or half. Yep. And this is where we're also quietly muting our phones. phones yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Um, choices. Uh, yes. By Aaron Sunnyshine, which I really enjoy. First published in July 2001. Uh, a total of 1,692 words. Ooh, I wonder how many of those words we're actually going to encounter over the course of this adventure. If we take the long or the short story, I suppose. Let's find out. Yeah. Okay, yes. Uh, disclaimer, yada, 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 not mine. Notes, this is a Farscape. Choose your own adventure story where you, yes, you, get to be Aaron's son, so do it your way. Depending on the choices you make, this could be a shippy PWP. Now, what do you imagine that is? Um, ooh, play, P- PWP. PWP. Hmm. It's probably something to do with shipping. and. Uh... Yeah, as in, as in relationship, yes. A, an action-adventure story or some Farbot mixture of the two. Have fun. And she would love some feedback. So or, or they would love some feedback. I don't know what their uh, their pronouns are. Well, page one, I suppose. Okay, uh, off you go. You are sitting in your quarters about Talon, cleaning your pulse rifle. The ship's sleep cycle has just ended, though most of your crewmates have yet to wake up. John, for instance, is lying on his half of the bed you have been sharing mm. and snoring rather loudly. Mm. You smile, finding the sound he's emitting slightly amusing. Outside, you can hear the... Yes, that's me. Outside, you can hear the first beginnings of the morning's activity. I kind of like that there's a sleep cycle. No. Like, I mean, shipboard, it makes sense. Although, in, in, in big ships, I reckon there would be, like, shifts, you know? Yeah, right. So, not really one particular... Maybe your sleep cycle, but that doesn't mean it's everybody's sleep cycle. Or, like, on... on I think, like, on submarines. I don't... I've known someone who served on, uh, on, on Dutch submarines. I don't mm-hmm. know if they really do day and night there. I think it's, like, three eight-hour shifts... No, and well, sort of hot rack? well sh- uh, shipboard is usually four hours on, four hours off. Oh, okay. Uh, but I'm not sure in, on, in how many shifts that is, but yes. Okay. You can hear soft footfalls on the other side of the door as Krace stalks around the great, great Leviathan. You can also hear Stark and Rigel arguing through the thin walls that separate your rooms. You smile as their voices suddenly become high-pitched and even more annoyed. After a while, you get a little tired of John snoring and decide to wake the human up. Okay, so now we get a choice. I'm going to offer you this choice first. So if you wake him up by shaking him roughly and yelling his name, jump to chapter two. And if you wake him up with a kiss, go to chapter three. How are you going to wake Joan up? To be honest, like after what we just saw, the last episode, I think that, I mean, this is obviously taking place 
still on Talon, yes. still with only the people that were just mentioned. No Dargo, no Chiana, no uh, Moya. Yeah. Um, and and we're reading this having just uh, uh, having just seen. God, what was that episode called again? Relativity. Yes, that's the one. So I think like he'll. Uh, I think we'll wake him with a kiss. kiss that seems to right? be the thing to yeah. go. So we go to chapter three. How yeah. do we go to chapter three? Okay, so there's the selector where it says chap- default chapter. Yeah. And, and that brings you to a drop down. All right, jump. Chapter three is where we're going. Okay. Yeah. Smiling at your own folly, you plant a gentle kiss on John's lips. He awakens instantly with a happy smile plastered on his face. Morning, sunshine, he says, <laughs> pulling you further down onto the bed. You return his grin and kiss him again. You surprise him by pulling away and heading out the door. Ooh. When he follows, you give him a playful look and continue to move down Talon's halls. I wonder Good. if she's doing that sort of the teen girl running away again that you remarked on. Well, from, no, that was uh, the, that's the upset teen girl. Um, <laughs> yes, that's... Okay, we just go to chapter four. Chapter four, right. that's simple okay. enough. You're leaning over Talon's propulsion systems. You are... L- uh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry. It's a, it's a run-on sentence. You're leaning over Talon's propulsion systems, becoming more and more frustrated with its refusal to work. It seems that every time you get this Leviathan in perfect working order, something else breaks. That seems like a weird yeah. take from last chapter, but well, go on. No. John is sitting there, handing you various tools and generally not being much of help. You stiffen slightly with surprise as his hand touches your shoulder. You feel his hand make tiny circles on your skin. Ooh. You turn to him. If you tell him to go away and let you work in peace, go to chapter five. If you don't discourage him in the least, go to chapter six. I'm going to follow your lead. Let's go to chapter six. Okay. Yeah, let's let's see how horny this gets, and hopefully we can sort of back out if it actually broaches. <laughs> you don't discourage John's attentions, though you do your best to concentrate on your work at least somewhat. A triumphant smile spreads across your face. There, almost done. Just have to... Suddenly, the entire ship rocks, sending you and John off balance. You land halfway cushioned in his lap. The cable you had been holding bursts, sending Ugh. a painful wave of heat through your left hand. You drop it with a small exclamation of pain. The vessel rocks again. Before you can get up, John takes your injured hand in his own, examining it. We don't have time for this, you announce, jerking your hand away painfully. Okay, now we have a three-way choice. So what are we going to do? Are you going to go to command to find out what the frell is going on? Or are you going to calm Crace and ask what's happening? Or if you are annoyed with the sudden intrusion of a gasp crisis in this story and you want to simply ignore it and have sex with Crace and go to chapter nine. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, um... I'm going to... Well, you said, like, we want to see how horny this gets, but, you know... On I mean, it's an actual sex scene. I don't think we're supposed to do that on... No, I don't think we're... we're, we're we, I kind of want to keep it PG. Yeah, I mean, right? Like, so let's go with, I mean... And you can, if you're curious about what chapter nine is, go to go and find choices by Aaron Sunnyshine on fanfiction.net and check out chapter nine. I say we go uh, f- get on the comms and ask Crace what the hell's go- oh, what the is going on. I was hoping on. you'd include Crace because I've been practicing my Crace voice. All right, there we go. Oh, well, in that case, this, this line's mine. You hit your combat, calling out Crace's name once, twice, no answer. You realize you have to go to command to find out what's going on. Oh, ah. it's one of those non choices. <laughs> <laughs> because now we have to go to chapter seven anyway. Yes. Okay. You race to command with John following faithfully behind you. The first thing you see is Crace lying on the floor, completely unconscious. A frell, you murmur, moving some fallen debris off him. Debris from Talon. You don't even want to think about how much pain the young Leviathan is likely to be in. You don't want to think how difficult he will be to control, either. You order Talon to turn the view screen on. He responds to your voice command, showing you an image of a rather large Luxon vessel. <gasps> Luxon? Why the Hesmona are the Luxons attacking? Ooh, I wonder if it's one of those Luxon assault piercers, like uh, like Dargo talked about. Oh, yeah. So if we, rescue that from the if we try to hail the Luxons, we go to chapter 10. Otherwise, if we shoot first and ask questions later, we take the Janeway approach. <laughs> then we go to chapter 11. I don't think that's Aaron's style anymore. No. I think, like, Zan and young John have, uh, have rubbed off on her, and she'd much rather understand the situation first. Plus, they're trying to... Uh, discourage Talon to shoot first and ask questions later. That's a very so, good point. Yes, she's going to say, set the right example. Definitely uh, chapter 10. Yeah, we're going to hail the, the, the Luxon ship. Talon, please open a challenge to the attacking vessel, you say. Talon complies, and the face of an angry Luxon appears on the view screen. I am Tartarn, he announces. Why have you fired on my vessel, peacekeeper? We did not fire on your vessel, you re- reply angrily. Tam merely scowls. You are not the captain of this vessel, he notes. I have no owners against you. 
It is Crease. The view screen suddenly blinks out, and Talon begins firing on his owner's cord. Talon! Talon! Stop that! You order, but he does not listen. An image of the Luxon ship exploding shows on the view screen. Yikes! If you go and try to disable Talon's weapons, go to Chapter 13. If you attend to Crace, go to Chapter 14. What a yeah. choice. Luxon's already frailed, so might as well go to Chapter 14. Okay. I was intent to... Uh, I hope he's wearing his black tank top again. Ooh. There's a lot of fans of uh, Crace in his black tank top. You lift Crace's inert body off the floor, your frustration evident in your face. There is a quick burst of pain in your injured hand. You ignore it, but John doesn't. I'll take him, he says. Wow. I'm sure a lot of fan fictions were spawned from that as well. <laughs> I'll take him, he said. Uh, no, I'll take him. There we go. You nod, transferring Crace's solid weight to his hands. He sli- he slings him over his shoulder, and you follow him to town's ah, makeshift the, med bay. The famous uh, <laughs> <laughs> John Carey. So, uh, no, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, the, the, the John sort of shoulder carry where he ben, shows sorry, off yeah, the... Sorry, yeah, the Ben Browser. That's, the uh, Ben Browser carry, shoulder that's carry, the one. The one that... Uh, Shows off maximum butt crack. <laughs> Oof. The one that Gigi Edgley was, was complaining about, that she he always had to like carry her butt first towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and you follow him to Talon's makeshift med bay. Oh, Talon's got a med bay. Makeshift. Mm. He lays Crace down on a small cot and you examine him. He's all right, you say. Just a minor concussion. A minor concussion. That's, oh, no, let, let's not nitpick. He'll, <laughs> <laughs> he'll wake up soon. John nods, taking uh, taking a roll of medical gauze off a nearby shelf. Ah, oh, there uh, we go. It begins. <laughs> the evening concerto. Thank you. Okay. If you have John administer to your injured hand, go to chapter 15. If you take the gauze and administer to your injured hand yourself, go to chapter 16. Actually, that's an interesting choice. I was just wondering why um, they were going to use medical gauze to tend to an unconscious grace with a con- uh, concussion, but now this explains no, it. No, no, no. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. The, the, the injured hand. But this is an interesting one. I mean... We would expect her to simply ignore it. So does she do it real quick and move on? Does she do a quick, like, field dressing? Well, or does she let John do it? Well, I mean, your hand, if it needs to be wrapped in gauze, then yep. you have someone else do it. Yep, she's smart enough for that. Yeah. 15? Yep. So, 15 okay, John is. does the administry. You, you, hold out your, oh, you hold out your hand and watch as John rolls several layers of cool white gauze over it. When he's finished, he takes your hand and touches it lightly with his lips. What are you doing? You ask. He smiles a bit sheepishly. An earth custom. I'm kissing it better. You smile at him, the tension of the day fading from your face. You kiss his lips. The end. All right. Okay, I'm really curious about which chapters did we not hit here? I mean, well, we obviously didn't have, we, chapter nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like 12 and 14 feel like inf- unfamiliar numbers as well. Yeah. I mean, let's see. It's like t- uh, 13, where when Talon's weapons were disabled. Oh, that's a good one. So should we just like quickly get in the, okay, in zip, the, zip, the, zip, the, zip, the far back zip, machine? Zip, Remember how we had that? Zip, <laughs> it's the Scooby-Doo ending. We're going to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to rush off and, and, and take care of Talon. Oh, yeah. yeah, so uh, from the bridge, rather than um, going to do the thing... Going to t- yeah, we sort of now we're leaving Crace, because actually we know that he's just got a minor concussion. And, yeah, and uh, we're just going to, we're going, to, uh, we're going to turn off Talon's gun. Yeah, that's exactly. what was going to happen. With a sigh, you cut the last necessary wire. You know that Talon won't be able to shoot at anything, not until you repair him. Now the only things you have to worry about are airlocks. You return to command and are relieved to see that John has already taken care of Crace. Oh. You are reminded of the throbbing pain in your own hand. The doors swish open and John walks in. He's carrying a small roll of gauze in his hand. Oh, and there we, we end go. up okay, in the, the same, same ending. The same but, ending. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see what else we sort of had. I mean, chapter nine is really just sort of... Do you want to risk it? Oh, well, we can have a quick... We can have a quick scan sort of scan and, and, and like, see if, if that's... If we suddenly, like, if there's suddenly, like, weird audio glitch and, like, communications <laughs> problem, then you realize, <laughs> then, well, you know what happened. Oh, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do, up to you. All right. You smile at Crichton, leading him back towards your quarters. You kiss him just before the question and look fully forms on his face. Mm. You push him down onto the bed, oh. kissing him more and more passionately. <laughs> Then the entire ship explodes from an enemy attack that you could have stopped had you not been so preoccupied. You ship, are you? Well done. 
<laughs> Thank you, Aaron Sunnyshine. This was this was choices. You can find the uh, the link in the show notes or on our website if you want to send in uh, a fanfic recommendation of your own. And we've actually received a few of those. Strangely enough, through the uh, synopsis submission form, but that's oh, totally okay. Whatever works. There's all the links are at sofarscape.com slash links, and we uh, look forward to seeing you next time as we dive into the next episode of Farscape. Escape the, and join us then for Tales of the, the Uncharted, Uncharted Territories. Territories. <laughs>